skinned And then this day will come It's like, like I, I don't, don't even, even know you Though I've known you for years And I've been paid It breaks my heart to look at you I don't know what to call you When, when I can't even call Oh, oh I, I cannot pick up the phone Call you up my way home oh, Just like I used to do Now I'm waking up in my bed all alone Nothing left of your colon oh, I need you to know I wanna scream so loud Just want you off my mind Wish that we had more time I can't let you go I can't let you go And I need you to know Tell myself that when you need somebody else, try my best to be happy. Though I know it will end. Oh, I made it. I cannot pick up the phone. I call you up my way. I'm all just like I used to do. Now I'm waking up in my bed all alone Nothing left of you, come on, oh I need you to know I wanna scream so loud Just what you have my mind I wish that we had more time I can't let you go I can't let you go No, I can't let it be You're so part of me Wish that we had more time I can't let you go I can't let you go and I need you And now I might be hard to say oh, We were never meant to be Left a little piece on me You show me that it will It's hard to be the one for you It doesn't matter now But I need you Just now I wanna scream So loud Just what you love My mind Wish that we had more time I can't let you go I can't let you go No, why can't I let it be? Yes, if I love me Wish that we had more time I can't let you go I can't let you go and I need you to know This video is going to be recorded 21st of July, 2021 Hi everybody, my name is Jez And today is going to be a different kind of video you are basically only going to see what's on the screen. Basically, my screen, my record program, and hopefully you like the song I have. I just sang for you. It's called Need You To Know, and originally performed by Victoria Yuanso, a Swedish artist. Go follow her. She's amazing. I'll post a link in the, the description to her, to her, both Instagram and Spotify. She's amazing. She's wonderful. But this song is about a breakup. How how hard it feels leaving someone behind. How hard it feels having someone leave you behind. Have someone break up with you or break up with someone. That you want them to know that you're still a part of me. I still love you a little bit. And you're always going to love your ex a little bit. Even if he cheated. Even if he killed you. Okay, maybe not. But even if he cheated on you. You're still going to leave. You're still going to have a little piece of him in you. Because 
he is still a part of you. Otherwise, you wouldn't have dated him. Otherwise, you wouldn't have broken up. Everything, bad and good experiences are still yours. But this song, I sang, I sing this for a completely different reason. I sing this song because I want us to not, never ever forget some of the worst terrorist attacks through history. The 2015 in Paris, the truck in 2016 in Nice, France. We have the bombing on both the subway, central subway station and and the airport in Brussels in Belgium. The the truck who drove down Dottingothan, the Queen's Road, here up in Stockholm, in Sweden. We can never forget that. We can never ever forget the bombing in Manchester 2017. Columbine shooting, 20, 1999. The 2013 bus Boston Marathon, where two jihadists blew up two homemade bombs uh, to avenge the war in Afghanistan. 9-11. And then the worst single-handed. It was before this. This is the worst one ever because it was performed by one man who hurt this many and killed this many. That was the 22nd of July in Norway, 2011. Anders Bering Breivik was a psycho and a nationalist. Someone who didn't have empathy for anyone else than himself and his own ideology. He blows up a van filled with black powder that was blended together with gasoline to make it even more explosive. Five miles up to eight kilometers away from the bomb's epicenter where the car was could be heard. You could hear it that far out. Eight kilometers. Let's spread the damn far, my guy. Let's spread the damn far. You could hear you could feel it up to about four kilometers. You could feel the bomb. Just tiny bits, but you can still feel it a little bit. And then, within a one kilometer radius, glass shattered, walls fall, fell down, buildings got destroyed. Eight people died in the bombing. And I believe it was between 70 and 200 people that got hurt. Minor or major or medium injuries. Or just shocked and traumatized for the rest of their life. This, however, wasn't the terror attack. This was a decoy, a distraction for the actual event, for the main course. At, uh, on the local island, Utøya, they were having a youth camp. That was his target. And it is thought and speculated. I'm not going to go in on those speculations because I don't remember all of them. But he went on with an X number of different guns. Pistols and rifles. Illegal, of course. Because it wasn't hunting rifles. He went in by boat, dressed as a, poli dressed as a police officer. And started, he went, shot down two of the leaders, two of the organizers. And then he started to go on a killing spree. He killed everything between 80 to 100 people of different ages. I say 80 to 100 because different sites, websites state different facts. For an example, Wikipedia says he only killed 77. Why just, I believe it was, it was a Norwegian Nationals website that said he killed 104. So... I say between 80 and 100. However, most of these were under the age of 18. He hurt another, maybe up to 300, maybe up to 200. There were a lot of youngsters here. I, I'm, not, I'm not really sure, to be honest, but 
that this even happened can never be forgotten. And why I'm doing this video is to give you the enlightenment to to respect one another. Political view, race, religion, color of skin, sexuality, gender, sex, height, body size, looks, hair color, eye color. If you have a big ass, big boobs, or not. Or a b huge penis, or not. I want you to respect one another. It doesn't matter if you're furry, black, white, Muslim, Christian. As long as you're doing right for yourself. If you're doing wrong, fuck you. I mean, if you are... Let's be, let's be real here. If you are not killing people, you should not get respect. Let's just face it, you shouldn't. But everyone deserves respect when they are following the rules and living a normal life. Pay, having a job, or even maybe maybe not even that. As long as you don't hurt anyone else, or yourself for that matter. Hurting yourself is never the answer. But as long as you don't hurt, hurt anybody else, and is posing a threat to, to people around you, you should definitely be shown respect every single day. And why I wanted, why I sang this song is because 9-11 is the worst ever terrorist attack ever. Nothing is ever going to come close to that. And then sing, worst single-handed, where it was one man, that is the one in Norway, in 22nd of July. Tomorrow. This video will come up on the 22nd of July at 12, at me, at midnight, GMT plus two. Local time, no local Swedish, German, Roman, and Norwegian time. I have friends in Norway. Friends that I consider family. I want to move to Norway, so I've learned. I don't know how it feels. I know how it feels to have a bomb blown next to you, because I've had that. Literally five, literally maybe ten, fifteen meters away, a bomb blew up breaking the facade of a of a building fucking up blowing up two cars and setting a third car on fire that was one day the day before my graduation at like 4 4 a.m i woke up to that it was disgusting F okay maybe 15 meters is a little bit too much too little i think maybe 30 35 between 30 and 40 but still, that's still close. That's still close, my guy. My building shook. And that was from a small bomb. Imagine that. The one in Oslo, then. Holy fuck. I mean, I'd be fucked. Probably shit my pants. But it's part of us. Of who we are. So we can always be reminded that, that we can do better. We can always do better. No matter what we believe in. No matter what we what we have sex with, no matter who we are, we can always do better and respect each other. Okay? We are humans. We do mistakes, yes. I'm not saying that baby did a mistake because damn boy, he did not. This took months to plan, maybe even years. They are speculating now, trying to find out if uh, he had planned this since about, I mean, 10, 11 years before, when he heard, 10 years before when he heard about the 9-11 attack, that he wanted to do something like that, but he couldn't, because, I mean, there ain't any tall buildings in Oslo, or anywhere else in Norway for that matter, I mean, bruh. What the fuck am I gonna fly into? In Sweden, it's a little bit wor worse. You have Guta Towers, you have Turning Torso. <laughs> and the ABG Arena in Stockholm. Um, you have that you can fly into. Yeah. Anyhow, thank you so thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Uh, comment down. I mean, just comment down below. Just spread the love. Share this video everywhere. To make sure that people sees it and that people gets it 
and that we can start working together to get this world fixed because how it is right now is not the world that we want to live in trust me it isn't but as i said leave a like if you enjoyed subscribe to follow up for more click on the notification bell if you're gonna if you want to get notified every single time i upload a new video just amazing just like this one educational or fun or just because just weird and i'll see you in the next one peace